guys welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you guys are back for another video you guys have probably been to my channel already you guys have probably seen a couple of videos but the fact that you guys keep coming back just makes me feel good you know like i get this gooey feeling inside first of all today is the Th thursdays the Th thursday is a series that i started um where we just give each other advice we talk about business we talk about love we talk about just any topic that's interesting and we we can relate to so if you have any questions any suggestions please make sure you write it down in the comments below and also make sure that you're subscribing and not only subscribing but you're clicking on the notification bell so as soon as i upload a video you can be the first to watch it how cool is that why wouldn't you want to do that right <laughs> so with the second episode of Th -th -th thursday i want to talk about this phenomenon called imposter syndrome so if you've ever said to yourself why am i doing this i'm not worthy people are not going to listen to me there's so many people who's doing this right now why would i be any any more successful than they are or why would i even succeed in that field well guess what sis sit down pull up a chair grab a notebook grab a pen or your phone whatever it is that you take notes and we are going to dissect it and work through it together because that's what we're here for we're here for tete -a -tete. we're here to talk we're here to really understand each other and help each other grow and succeed so let's start with me i graduated school with a bachelor's in communications and as soon as I graduated, I started working for a television network. Um, I absolutely love what I did, so I didn't mind the commute. I did not mind the waking up super early just to get to work by 8.30. My commute was over an hour, by the way. But I loved it, so I didn't mind at all. Every time I would get to work, I would think to myself that I don't deserve to be here. Only because a lot of my co-workers, they've been in the field for longer than I have, have more connections than I do, and they understood more of the things that were happening. So when I would have meetings with the vice president or when I would have meetings with my boss, I would often feel like I'm doing good today, but I know for a fact that they're going to find a mistake and Nikki, you don't deserve to be here. And I've had all these thoughts and I've neglected the fact that I've had experience with in the media before. I've done interviews before. I've done shows before, but I just felt like, why would they like me? what do i have to offer anyone they're gonna find whatever mistakes that i've made so i was waiting for someone to come and pull the rug from underneath me because i didn't feel like i deserved it but the thing is it was all because of my fear what is fear fear is false evidence appearing real my fear held me back my fear is what really stopped me so my fear is what really made my imposter syndrome pop up because I was self-sabotaging myself because I just felt like I don't deserve what God is giving me right now. The thing with imposter syndrome is you're doubting yourself. You're doubting your skills. You're doubting the things that you've had to do to get to where you are. So all those sleepless nights, all of those prayers, it didn't happen by chance and it wasn't by luck. It was by faith, it was by hard work, and it's because you deserve to be here. I deserve to be there. And that's why I was hired, that's why I was there. Because of my imposter syndrome, I always fought back. I would think these positive things and I'll say something negative. Well, guess what, sis? Now, especially in 2020, we are done with imposter syndrome. We're not going to let our fear, we're not going to self-sabotage, and we're not going to think that we don't deserve what we do deserve to have. It was put in your heart for a reason. You've had those visions for a reason. So why are you letting your fear, why are you letting those fraudulent emotions stop you from achieving your goals? You are made for bigger. We are no longer flipping the table. We are shaking the room, like literally shaking the room. So when imposter syndrome tries to come and post up, tries to come and stop your grind, stop your shine, sis, close the door, chase it away because where you're going, you're gonna have a lot of success. There's going to be a lot of blessings there and we don't have time to stop ourselves. So imposter syndrome tries to keep us safe. It tries to keep us 
in this perfect little cocoon where nothing is happening in our comfort zone because think about it imposter syndrome only appears when we are putting ourselves out there when we are actually taking a risk when we are actually jumping out of the boat and into whatever we think that we should be doing so that's where it comes because it's a reflection of what people think of us so we think because I'm going live what if people are gonna think I'm lying people are not gonna like me or I'm starting another business and there's already a lot of businesses like mine so people are not going to think that I'm going to be successful I'm going to fail I don't deserve this so those are all reflections of people or what you think people will say in regards to you if you just stayed at home and you're watching TV, you're on Netflix, you're hanging out with the same friends you used to hang out with, you're doing the same things every single day, you're never going to feel imposter syndrome. When you do feel imposter syndrome, it means that you're doing something that you're passionate about, something that you're afraid of failing, you're afraid of losing, something that keeps you up at night, something that keeps you alive. If you're feeling those feelings, it's because it's something that you love and that's perfectly fine. We're going to work through those feelings, figure out why you feel the way you do, figure out why is it that you feel like you're not worthy. Don't let it stop you from continuing from growing from achieving the things that you want to achieve so if you want to start your small business you want to start your brand you want to become an artist you want to go to back to school whatever it is that you want to do as long as you're passionate about it imposter syndrome will always be there so it's not about overcoming it it's more so working through those feelings and figuring out why you're doing it figuring out where you are so you can achieve achieve greater things. It's never going to be easy to put yourself out there. It's never going to be easy to risk anything. It's never going to be easy to let people know that this is what I'm doing and support me or whatever it is. It's never going to be easy. And to say that one day you're just going to wake up and be okay with it and think all of those things are easy, it's not easy. So here are some things that I think that you should really think about when feeling like you have imposter syndrome. Number one, understand that you are not alone alone in this people have felt like that before and they will feel like that after you Maya Angelou had imposter syndrome Albert Einstein had imposter syndrome there's so many greats who's had imposter syndrome but they didn't let it stop them you have probably achieved so many things in your life You've actually gone through so many obstacles in your life. Make a list of all the risk, all the things that you've actually done before. So if you've ever spoken in front of a crowd, write down things that you had to learn by yourself that you didn't know how to do before, but now you're so great at it. So let's say you weren't good at graphic designing or you weren't good at small things like making coffee or tying a knot or building a shelf whatever small thing that you can think of or big thing that you can think of the second thing i would do is trust in your community when you feel those feelings that you're incompetent or you don't belong call your mom call your dad call your friend call whoever it is that you need to call that's going to help you call your pastor call your Whoever it is that you normally talk to when you have those thoughts, call them and let them know how you feel. Do not hold it in and just think that, okay, well, I'm going through this alone and it's just going to go away. It will not go away. I want you to really be able to rely on, rely on your community. That's why we have communities, right? There is nothing wrong with asking for help. There will never be anything wrong with asking for help. And I know a lot of us, we were, you know, Miss Independent and that's perfectly fine. I feel the same way too, but... There's nothing like calling someone and going, hey, this is how I feel right now. This is where my headspace is. Can you walk me through it? Do not hesitate to pick up the phone and call someone or do not hesitate to go online. If you have an online community that you know you normally talk to you normally interact with do not hesitate to reach out to someone anyone just to have those conversations and also have a plan in place if you have to write it down on your wall write it down in your phone write it down somewhere where you can see it 
write down what your purpose is so if you're starting a small business if you're starting a brand if you're start whatever it is that you're starting or you're working on write down what your purpose is write down what your vision is for yourself and for that thing and for that business and for that project you're working on so when you're feeling the way that you do you can sit back and go well this is my purpose and this is my plan or this is the vision that I have and the goals that I want to achieve because of that vision because of that purpose imposter syndrome you are not for me goodbye like <laughs> sorry no and last but not least allow yourself to breathe I know a lot of times when we're working on our businesses or we're working on a, on a project an assignment whatever it is you wake up to it and you go to sleep to it and you feel like okay this is it this is the end all be all but it's not allow yourself to breathe allow yourself to be with family be with friends be with people in your community actually go out go watch a movie read a book go ride your bike go read your bible whatever it is that will make you feel good give yourself time to actually do something that you enjoy in between so you don't feel the pressure of everything on your shoulders so when you are doing Doing your project you're coming back with fresh ideas you're coming back with a fresh mentality you're going you're coming back more relaxed and more happy and more passionate about whatever it is that you're doing and also know your triggers identify the things that makes you feel a certain way and work through those emotions do your research if you feel like your unpreparedness or your nervousness is because you're not a hundred percent ready or you're not a hundred percent comfortable with whatever assignment project brand business whatever it is that you're trying to do do your research about it learn as much as you possibly can so you can be comfortable with it so if someone asks you a question you're an expert at it all right guys thank you so much for being here with me today and i hope you guys enjoyed yourselves as much as i did make sure that you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys soon on my next that thursday video and i'll be reading the comments so if you have any questions any comments please write them down below but thank you so much for the support so i'll see you guys soon bye